right, we're back again on the Capris. Gonna be working on this trunk lid again. Gonna be doing the inside. I'm gonna go back and finish this up. That way it's done. As far as the inner fenders go, they're back here. Inside is prime. They're ready to go. Okay. So we've got a few rust issues on the inside of the trunk. We've got a hole here. We've also got some small holes over there we're going to have to weld up. We're going to get them buffed down. We're going to get this whole bottom side scuffed. We're going to get some primer on it. And it'll be ready to paint. And then, of course, we'll have to block sand it before we spray it. Uh, we're going to get that took care of. And then probably going to start tearing the inside of the car out. As you can see, we've already got the back seat out of it. Uh, so far, the floor pans where the back seat was look pretty good. I do know we are going to have to replace this floor pan, at least a piece of it. I do know that it's got some rot in it. I'm not sure about the rest of the car, but we're going to be doing all new carpet anyway. So all of it's got to come out. I've got to pull them seats out. We're doing different seats. And it's just one big mess in there right now. But i got to get all that out, check the floor pans. I'm also going to be getting all this out. I'm kind of using the trunk as storage right now. I'm running out of room. But uh, we're going to be checking the trunk floor, make sure it doesn't have any rod in it. And then we'll go from there. But for right now, we're going to be getting on this trunk, trying to get it took care of and done. That way, trunk's a done deal, and uh, we move on with the rest of the car. We do have a brand new hood. We got to get that in primer. Uh, we're gonna wait on that because I know that'll be minimal body work, if any, due to it being a brand new hood. But right now, we're gonna get on this trunk. All right. There are small holes welded up. There's also some right there and right there. Then right here is where we had the bad rust hole. Got it cut out. Got a uh, piece put back in it. Welded up. So now we're going to scuff the inside of this trunk and get it ready for some primer. I almost forgot we got to put some filler in some of these places. Uh, I about screwed up, jumped the gun, went ahead and put primer on something that wasn't ready. But, we're going to get some filler fixed up first, put in some of these places like where the hole was, uh, get them all blocked out, get them straight, and then we're going to prime it. So while we were waiting on our filler to dry in our trunk, I went ahead and pulled the carpet and the seats out of the car, and there's way more rust than I expected. That whole floor paint is gone. We've got a few places over there I've got to cut out. The majority of that one. And a good bit of that one as well. Alright, our filler dried. We've already blocked it. Had a few spots we had to hit with the spot putty. It's dry now, so we're going to go ahead and block those out, just cut the rest of this trunk, get some primer on it, and we're going to jump on the inside of the...
Ah, trunk's in primer. Getting closer. Uh, still got to put another coat on the outside. Uh, didn't make it to the floor pans. Run out of time. So, next video, we're going to be working on the floor pans and the outside of this trunk. Uh, once we get the outside done on the trunk, it'll be ready, good to go. Uh, still got to work on the floor pans. That's going to be pretty time consuming. Got a lot we got to cut out, replace. As you can see, I went ahead and started marking areas that's got to be cut out. That whole floor pan's got to come out. Uh, the whole thing's rotted. It is shot. Uh, over here on the driver's side rear, it's not too bad. Got a few bad places. Uh, driver's side up there, it's, it's pretty rough. So there's going to be a lot to do in here. If you're interested in more of this build, consider subscribing. Drop a like, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, see you next time. Thank you.